News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. Rain showers, a little bit of sleet, a little bit of snow mixed in, and even what we call grapple. And thanks to all the viewers for sending in the photos today in Swatera Township in Dauphin County. You can see that light there on the grass next to the pumpkins. And with the rain coming down and a little bit of some sun popping out, we had some pictures of some rainbows. This was in Lancaster on the east side of the town and also uh, up near Park City Mall. Earlier this afternoon, you can see the rainbow there off in the distance. So, some sunshine breaking through, but also some rain. And a lot of people confused about what grapple is. It actually starts as snow, it's crisp, you can easily crush it. It's like styrofoam, it's usually about five millimeters or smaller. That's about the size of a pencil eraser. It bounces when it hits the ground. It's technically not sleet. Sleet is a solid ball of ice. This is more, has some air in it, and that's why it's a little bit softer. Outside right now, taking a live look over York, you can see some clouds off. Off in the distance, we still have some scattered showers out there, but it is chilly. Right now, 46 degrees in the White Rose City with a stiff breeze out of the northwest at nine miles per hour. Super Doppler 8, the intensity of the rain is starting to wane, but we still have a few scattered showers and a little bit of some wintry precipitation mixed in with that, especially in our higher elevations. Zooming in right now, taking a live look over Cumberland County into Perry County from Blaine back up toward Port Royal, seeing some scattered showers. This is all thanks to an upper level disturbance moving across the Susquehanna Valley, and it's the higher elevations this evening will have the best chance for. Some passing showers and a little bit of some wintry mix. It's not until we head through the overnight when this finally starts to shut down, but the clouds will be sticking around for a few more hours after that. So, for this evening, the scattered showers will taper. Yeah, we've got the chance for some of that slow, uh, snow, sleet, and some grapple mixing in. Another freeze warning is in effect for late overnight tonight, and I do think this is going to be the coldest night this week as temperatures drop to near 30. And then, as we head through tomorrow, back up into the 50s. Just a touch warmer than today, but I do expect mainly sunny skies throughout much of the day for tomorrow. Believe it or not, we made it to 51 in Harrisburg. That was right after lunchtime. Then the rain started to come down, and that helped bring the temperatures down. And the low this morning was 37, but there were spots down into the 20s this morning. We dropped to 27 in York. It was 33 this morning in Lancaster and 34 in Gettysburg. Here's some of the cooler spots. Look at Peckway in Lancaster County. Dropped all the way down to 31. And Fairfield dropped to 29 degrees in Elizabethville. In Dauphin County, dropped all the way to 29 as well. Right now, we're at 43 in Harrisburg. It's 40 if you're watching us in 11 and currently 46 in Chambersburg. So there's the clouds, the scattered showers, and a little bit of some wintry mixing in with that. But look what's happening off to our west over the Ohio River Valley and for much of the Midwest. Little action. Large ridge of high pressure we're on the eastern side of that high, and that big dip in the jet and an upper level disturbance is what's driving those passing showers. That's going to lift up towards New England. The high finally starts to win out. But because the core of the high pressure moves overhead, that's why temperatures are going to drop so low for tonight. Then watch what happens as we head through the morning. Any lingering clouds will start to erode. We'll see lots of sunshine. Highs will still be well below seasonal averages, back up only in the mid to upper 50s. Then, as we head into Tuesday, the core of the high shifts into the open waters of the Atlantic. Winds start to turn back up out of the south by southwest, and our temperatures will start to rise. So, tonight and tomorrow will be the coldest stretch. We'll only make it to 54, but then we're into the 60s on Tuesday. And like I said at the top of the show, there it is, 70 degrees. That's actually warm for this time of the year. And then comfortable weather will stay with us on into Thursday. Another cold front move on by could trigger a few isolated rain showers on Thursday evening. Cooler but near seasonal averages right now for the weekend. So the worst of the cold is tonight, early tomorrow morning.